Shrimati Radhika, sometimes Krishna, they sent a special messengers from Guru Vrindavan as a Guru representative. Sometimes Krishna himself descends in the shape of Guru. Sometimes Krishna like a what Guru? Chaitya Guru. Always inspire, inspiring something, good things in her. So sometimes Krishna is Chaitya Guru and sometimes he is Mahanta Guru. Mahanta Guru means? Mahanta Guru in Sakshat Guru. Yes. Direct form, living devotee. Living devotee, he comes and sir, helps us. They should be worshipped and revered in the highest manner and should never be considered as an ordinary human being. Don't think. We can see that Jeev Goswami, how he respected his Gurudev. Never he considered that he is, my Gurudev is human. Like all in our Guru Parampara we see. But Gurus, they should be also like of that time, otherwise it will not be there. Then he is telling to have Rati to Goshta. Goshta Brajdham. Silarup Goswami in his Upadesh Samritam, he has told one thing. What? Tanna Rupa Charita Adi Sukritananu Kramin Manasha Rasani Manasha Niyoja. This Tan Brajet Adanugami, Jananugami, Kalam Nayed, Kalam Ittu Padesha Saram. The abstract, the essence of all the teachings in this is law. First, you should know that you should do Rati in the Lord's feet of Guruj, Brajadham, Asanodip Dham. Chhatra Mandal also, the residence of Braja, Nanda Jasoda, Braja, um, Siddham, Subal, all, all the gopis, even all kinds of animals there. Jatkin Chetrin Gulmaki Katamukham Goste Samastan Gita. In Vrindavan, all are Sachidananda, even creepers, serpents. Everything, what to speak of? Gopis and gop, all are transcendental. So, all the parikas of Krishna and Radha, gop, gopi, peacock, kaku words, deers, we should honor with full respect. The word ghost has reference to uh, the residence of Raja, the Vaishnavas, the Brahmins, and your Sikh Diksha Mantra, what Gurudev has given, and holy name of Supreme Lord, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. And the center of Kishore Kishori, Sirada and Krishna, the eternal, youthful, divine couple of Braja. So, you should treat your mantra like Krishna, Gopal Mantra, Gaur Mantra, Gaur Gayatri, Maha Mantra, <coughs> embodiment of Radha and Krishna. When you are chanting, you should see that Radha and Krishna is there. If Radha and Krishna is there, you have no uh, sleepness or idleness or anything. Hmm? 
the word ghost ghost here refers to braj dham or in other words all the places within braj mandal where the nitya leela of jugal are enacted everywhere like vrindavan dham nandagaon that like uh, uh, what bhandirvan radha kund shyam kund all so if you are not going there bodily by mind you can be there you have seen bindavan you have done parikrama of bindavan so in the best place you should try to be there by mind in radha kund in gobardhan in bindavan under the shade of kadambate bansibar bansibar sometimes kadambate sometimes kadambakiyari in nandagao udhav kiyari so places best places by mind you should be there and try to chant there so in this way if you are doing all the practicing being in vrindavan in the guidance of so tatvag and rashik vaishnav there always chanting the very powerful holy name like gobind damodar madhaveti like hare krishna like gobind gopinath madan mohan shyam sundar radha raman all these names he krishna karuna sindho din bandho jagat pate gopesh gopika kanta radha kanta namaste like this or shri krishna gopala hare mukunda gobind he nand kishor krishna harshi jasoda tanaya prasida Shri Balavi Jeevan Radhikesh, like this, always be in Vrindavan. If you cannot be in Vrindavan, then you should think that I am in Vrindavan and going on all doing all these things. This is the essence of all these instructions. Rupa Goswami tells. Don't have any doubt in these things, and then do and. you will keep quickly develop your bhakti in nishtha and then ruchi and gradually going on today we are going yes. to birmingham birmingham you are going and i think that there our classes be more nice and you should try to come there go praman Yeah. Now. Yes. <coughs> tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, all the devotees will uh, be able to properly uh, uh, received in Birmingham. This afternoon, Shivaraj is going, and he will rest tonight. And tomorrow evening, there is a big program. So Manas Prasadam will be ready tomorrow afternoon in Birmingham for all the devotees. There will be a program here tonight. Subhasaka Prabhu will give class and all. And especially appreciate. I'm happy that so many devotees from so many various parts they have assembled here. So. so much thanks to you all and also so much thanks to the person who has arranged so quickly and so good management that everything is here everything is okay sri krishna chaitanya for kartik month in vrindavan you can come and join and they can enjoy our parikrama so beautiful jee ke
बच्चा को दीक्षा लेने चाहते हैं आपको पास ये तीन है ना तीन बड़े गोविंदा भी कर सकेंगे तो आज रह जाएं कल टुमारो टुमारो इनिशिएशन ओह आई लुक बोलो टुमारो टुमारो नथिंग टुमारो वी हैव टेकन एंड यू हैव टेकन समथिंग टू ईट यू हैव ईटन समथिंग टुडे रेडिका सम फूड इफ यू हैव इनिशिएटेड देन यू कांट ईट एनीथिंग इन द मॉर्निंग ये बच्चा का नाम आपको दिया था मार्च ये नंद कुमार We just moved into a very large place and we're setting up. Did you practice this? 
There are many loose ends, and some are nice to stay in the sort of things. Very difficult to find big ones. Okay. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Why is it left in the room? Chitra left in Chitra, my name. What name? Yes, sir, come. Ah, uh, well. Yes, sir, first. Uh, any song, beautiful song, sweet song. Jai Radha Madhav, you know? Jai Kunji Bihari? Or any like you will uh, you'll do. Any song.
can change so well. <coughs> I'm satisfied that your kirtan. Try to develop more. But you can do kirtan and observe and thinking of Krishna. Very good. Something. You can take your harmonium. Oh, uh, there is so much place. So much place is there. So much place. Uh oh, not there. Oh, you should take in front of you. Oh, oh. take it. Ah. Radhe 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 Jai 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 Shri Radhe 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 Jai 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 Shri Radhe 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 Jai Jai Shri Radhe Radhe 
राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 राधे
Thank you. <laughs> and th thank you, uh, thank your mother, those who have given birth to you, a boy, <laughs> so much qualified like you. So, so much thanks to her mother, uh, his mother also. Oh. Uh, Namami Nanda 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 Sabam 
स्टेडियम मेलोडी He has called all devotees. They have also called me from India. <laughs> and they are by this like of uh, gathering, he has also taken my heart. So I am so much debted to them all. So he should speak something. Also, you can tell, uh, speak about the plan here. We want to do here. Some center also about. Namo Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Shimate Gauravinda Swami Tinamine, Namo Vishnu Padaya, Radhikaye Priyatmane. Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Tinamine Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shumate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Sarus Bhati Devi Gauravani Pracharane Nivashesha Sundavadi Paskatade Shatarane So first of all, I would like to welcome Dei Sagrayan Grace Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Maharaj to Birmingham along with his entourage who are coming from Mathura and all the, all the devotees, followers, and the guests who are coming to hear from him for the first time. So, I was reflecting before um, having to come up here and speak, how this week in Birmingham is, for most, a very important week. You have the, what's it called, the summit meetings, where you have leaders of the heads of state from around the world, they're meeting tomorrow, I believe, in Birmingham to discuss how they will um, create some solutions to problems in the world, i.e. the um, um, debt that they have in the third world, etc. So they're going to sit down around tables and have their discussions, and for us, who are starting to get some taste for Harikata, um, such things would be very, very dry. But we hear from the Srimad Bhagavatam 5,000 years ago that when the leaders of society wanted to create 
um, sort of wanted to come up with some solution for the problems. Um, they gathered at Namasharani Forest and they met Sutta Goswami. And when inquiring from Sutta Goswami how to um, bring about some solution for the problems which would come in Kali Yuga, which is now, then Sutta Goswami he advised them to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam, to hear Harikata. So we see that this week is important in Birmingham, but it's not important because these heads of states who are wielding so much power and influence in the world, apparent power and influence, are here. But actually, it's very important because a pure devotee of Krishna has come to Birmingham to speak Harikata, and that is Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayana Maharaj. So, actually this occasion is more auspicious than I personally can even fathom with my very limited and conditioned um, brain. But I can only think, and this I think repeatedly, how glorious um, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayana Maharaj is that at such an advanced age, after having lived in the holiest of places, Vrindavan Mathura, for the last 50, 60 years, with um, no want but tasting so much ananda, so much bliss and ecstasy, that he's giving up, um, apparently giving up the land of Vrindavan. Because wherever he goes, he takes Vindava with him and he gives it um, in so many ways. Now, through his harikata, his glances. So, just how glorious he is for coming in such situation um, to benedict the world and actually bring about the real solution for um, the whole society. Not just the human beings, but all living entities knowingly and unknowingly, um, everybody is getting benefit from his Harikata. Um, there's a verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam, I hope I remember it. Janasya Krishna Vimukasya Daiva Adama Silasya Sudukitasya Anugraha Yena Charanti Nunam Bhavyanti Bhutani Janadanasya That Janasya Krishna Vimukasya Daiva That in this material world the living entities, they've turned away from Krishna. Um, and, next slide. Adama Silasya, Sudhuki Tasya, that they engage in Adamic activities, very irreligious activities. But, Bhutani Bhavyani, Janadanasya, but those sadhus, those saints, they undergo all kinds of inconvenience to travel, to traverse the globe and they give the mercy of Lord Janadan, or Lord Krishna. So we are very fortunate that such a person as Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, that he underwent so much inconvenience, so much austerity at such a late age to come and benedict us and bless us. And by his mercy, um, we are here to hear such sweet Harikata. And in that same line, in that very, very glorious line, um, now, Srila Bhakti Dante Narayan Maharaj is also doing the same. So we can see just how close he is to Srila A.C. Bhakti Dante Swami Prabhupada. That Srila Prabhupada has come and he's planted so many seeds and continuing in his line, he is also traveling at late age undergoing all kinds of inconveniences, um, nurturing, loving, showing so much affection in a way which um, myself and I guess most of us um, have never experienced before. That it's just um, actually melting stone hearts. So it's stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam that if one is feeling very stone-hearted, it is due to apparats. But when hearing Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayana Maharaj, even the apparats, uh, he's starting to have so much effect. So, I just um, ask also from devotees um, that they 
benedict me that I'd be able to be part of a solution to the problems by hearing Harikatan. In the Srimad Bhagavatam is stated, Nigama Kapataro Galitam Falam Shuka Mukad Amita Drava Samitam. That this Harikatan is coming down the simplex succession from personalities like Shukadev Goswami. And it's Amrita Drava Samitam. It's flowing. Uh, it's like nectar just oozing. And it's being um, nourished, it's being relished. Uh, but not in the mouth, but by the ears. So we see that Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj he has this entourage of devotees who are Nigama Kalpa Taru Kalitam Falam Shuka Mukadamitra Drava Santam Pibata Bhagavatam Rasa Aliyam who have dedicated their lives to relishing Harikata. So this really is the solution for the um, problems in society individually and collectively because by such harikata then it purifies the consciousness and the ether in the on the planet and pibata bhagavatam rasa aliyam muhu aho rasika bhuvi bhavaka that one should taste and hear this harikata um, till death that that is really the dharma that is the religion to hear harikata and by such um, it can only be done really by hearing from somebody who actually um, has got Hari within his heart, who has got Krishna within his heart. So this house, the um, residents of the house, I believe they're not here yet, but they're so fortunate that Shilnarai Maharaj, he stayed here I think three years in a row, and before that my Diksha Guru Shila Govinda Maharaj, he also stayed here, and the residents in the street, they're so fortunate. The residents of Birmingham, they're so fortunate. And the residents of the planet are so fortunate that such a personality as Srila Bhakti Dhanta Maharaj is coming and very compassionately um, bestowing his mercy, whether they know it or not, but still. And when they come in contact, then his Harikata, his personage, is so sweet that it's um, irresistible. So he's asked me to say a few words um, about our plans in Birmingham. Um, really, um, they are um, his plans, and we just hope to be able to be instruments for his plans to be carried out. So we plan to get a preaching center in this area. So he, those who um, would like to, um, who can also tolerate being in a city, because actually city is no is not a proper place for spiritual cultivation. But um, out of compassion, then the sadhus, they come to the cities and they um, have preaching centers or temples so that um, people in the cities, they have a chance to hear Harikata. So he wants to have a center here in Birmingham and to benedict the um, living entities in Birmingham and also for devotees who are um, wanting that association um, to hear Harikata, that they can come and also be nourished by this Harikata. And he also will be sending his brahmacharis from Mathura after he leaves tomorrow, um, Subal Sakaprabhu, he'll be staying here and he'll be staying here for two weeks and he'll be giving morning and evening classes from Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. So he'll give about 20 classes on Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. After that, he'll go to France for two weeks and give about 10 classes from another scripture. And then after that, Holland. So in this way, um, Shil Bhaktivantanarayam Maharaj is not just, he's expanding his um, preaching potency um, in so many ways. And we will see for, as years come that more of his brahmacharis like Shubhananda Prabhu and others, they will be coming and giving real mercy to um, this very dry, um, parched Western world. So again, I'd just like to thank um, Maharaj for coming to Birmingham. Shila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. Ajnan Timirandhasya 
ध्यानंजनश्लाकया चक्षुरमित श्रीगुरव नम वाकुभ कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नम नमो महावदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौरतिश गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदुभक्ताय नमो नाउ इट इज वेर इन माय टू आई एम हियरिंग सो मेनी थिंग्स दैट अ वेरी ग्रेट वॉर विल कम ऑल विल बी फिनिश्ड वेर टू गो वेर टू हाइड एंड व्हाट टू डू सम आर selling their property and they are seeking some lonely places where bum cannot affect <laughs> we are hearing that lord angel is going to be going very soon los angeles los angeles and there will be no trace of los angeles so many things so many yeah predictions predictions are now <coughs> i'm hearing here and there all are somewhat disturbed and worry for that <coughs> but there is nothing to be worry nothing this problems are from beginning of the creation of this world these are not n- new at all not new and we try to be so happy in this world without any problem but i know that we only create all troubles and all problems we are creator of god is not creator i know that now it is all human being has been so much self centralized and self selfish they want that we should make so big big weapons and any other should not do i should tell lie but all should i tell truth speak truth i should be cruel but all should be merciful right so we want to be like this who is making all these problems i see that there so much rich they have invented so many things that whole globe world has become a very a smaller thing we can hear him from opposite side of a world one and to another one we can hear we can see that uh, president clinton clinton is speak is speaking on this stage and we are hearing his voices and everything something a cricket match is going on anywhere in england between australia and england and all are so much interested to see it we can fly very soon from one place to another and we can round whole world in some hours so whole world has become a so small but our scientists and their researches has been so much some of co of course okay. why <coughs> at first we have seen that there was so much love and affection between husband and wife children 
brothers and brothers, sisters and brothers, and neighbors with also neighbors. But now it has become so rare. In flat, one flat living, anyone not knowing that who is he, a death is there, and in the, and the very never a marriage ceremony is going. A man is dying, and one man making so merry. So, there is a problem not of these things, making weapon and all these things. There is a problem of that. Our real praying, love and affection has gone away. This is the quality of heart. We have lost now. <coughs> we have no sympathy for others, no love and affection for others. Hmm? In Western countries, especially, there is, the air is also affecting in India now also. Hmm? No love between husband and wife. Always changing, changing like animals. And thus, big problem comes. Why you are not solving all these things? They should sit and solve. They are solving these things. And if not solving this, more and more problems are coming. Who has made weapons so powerful? Powerful. Who had who were? These very persons. Those who are sitting now, they have created all these things. <coughs> so, there is only solution for all these things. We should have so much faith in God, so much love and affection for all, even for our keepers. Why they are slaughtering so many cows and <coughs> rams, sheep, uh, sheep goats, Fishes, why they are doing? Pigs. They are, mm, have their pass <coughs> or anything for them doing these all these thing, nonsense? Hmm? Why they are doing? If they are doing all, hmm, then why uh, a reaction will not come? Surely it will come. Big, big wars will may come. But I know that only they will be affected who are doing this nonsense. So you should not be worried, those who are chanting and remembering. Supreme Personality of Godhead, those who have so much belief in God, they will not be affected. We know that we have come to this world for a very short time. Hmm? Death is sure. sure, whether today or after Today, after three, four days, after hundred years, it will mes must come. So why to fear from these bum bumps and all? It cannot touch Atma's soul. Never it can. So you should be a strong belief that every anything powerful bumps <coughs> will not affect any soul. So never worry about that. We know that there had been. So many times world is world was destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> Again, in a moment, new world was created. But not a single soul so, was affected by these things. So you should not be worried. Always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Medicine. If you chant like this, lakhs and lakhs hydrosome and atom bumps will not affect you, not a little. So you should not fear. Let them fear. Those who are doing all this nonsense, they will always fear. Hmm? So my request is to hear Harikatha. Like Parikshit Maharaj, he heard Harikatha from Sukadev Goswami. 
लाइक चैतन्य महाप्रभु शोड हिज मर्सी टेलिंग हरी कथा टू ऑल ही टोल फर्स्ट इन हिज लाइफ वेन ही वॉज ए बॉय बट वेरी इंटेलिजेंट वेरी ब्यूटिफुल always so much happy and he was at that time reading in school like byakaran hindi english in grammar. sanskrit grammar and a case of kashmiri came very learned person defeating all the learned persons in the whole world especially in india he was very learned person in vedas upanishad and all things and he could uh, recite in moment thousands and thousands of slopes. slopes new slopes new he defeated all everywhere in kashi in mithila mithila and so many places and he came to at that time nodi chetanya mahaprabhu only his age was like 12 or 11 12 or 13 like this and he has opened in this very as little is he has opened a sanskrit grammar school so many boys were there huh? mahaprabhu was teaching them english grammar so well that pandit came announce i want to Shabha. defeat challenge any learned person i want to debate with any way and Shabha. if anyone wants to Debate with me. Debate with me. I've given them challenge, challenging them. So no, no one came in front. They told that if you are such a learned person, then you should go and debate with Nimai Pandit. Nimai Pandit is only very small, small uh, young age, age, and not so much learned. Only grammar, he knows something. so he is our like disciples of disciples so you should go and contest and when chaitanya mahaprabhu with little boys on the side of ganges when sun was going to set very good scenery was there sun was red and going into the river <laughs> and all river was so red reddish and at once in the council of these little little boys keshav kashmiri having big turban with so many books and so many disciples he came he saw that so many boys of oh, very little little boys are reading and learning something in grammar so he sat there to watch what they are doing all were so much honor have so much honor for chaitanya mm, this little boy he was so beautiful and so strong personality <coughs> that keshav kashmiri was thunder bored thunder struck one thunder struck one thunder struck thunder struck mm. yeah. then <coughs> he thought that who is that boy mm. then any boy told oh you don't know he is our gurudev he is our teacher and well known in navadip then he said oh i have heard the name of this nimai pandit <laughs> oh she is she is very big personality first boy hmm? mahaprabhu knew that this pandit has come come to debate with debate, eh? debate. debate. debate with me <coughs> mahaprabhu very simply some is smiling told like in a manner of a very little disciple very humbly he asked i have heard that you are a very learned person so i want some to hear some beautiful shlokas that you have uh, done he told that i never speak what i have told before or written before i can in a moment i can Do new, 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 very beautiful, without any wrong thing, and very sweet. I can do. 
what should I, uh, what do you want to hear? He showed that. I want to hear the glory of Ganges. Oh. And in some minutes, he spoke about hundred new slopes, very ornamented style. All the boys were became surprised. surprised. Oh, how learned he is. Hmm? And he was looking that what they are effect, uh, on uh, effect that I have told. So all were astonished. In the meantime, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So the, I want to hear Explain among it. all these slokas, any one slok, that you should explain. tell the explain and tell what are wrong and what are merit and demerit of uh, the slok. Merit and demerit of the slok. He told that Keso Kasmiri has no wrong anything in his slokas. No never, never anything defect. Hmm? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu humbly, humbly told that may I tell something? Some defects. Which slok you want to hear? <laughs> and from what slok you want? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the middle, among the, his slok, from middle, one slok he told. And he told that you should explain. He told that I have no mistake. Eh? Mistake or anything? Nothing. Then he told that should I do? Should I uh, tell any mistakes that what are mistakes? Yes, you can do. Uh, then he was surprised that how you took one slope among my slope that in a minute I told all these things. Anyone cannot remember. Then Mahaprabhu smiling told, if anyone can make so many slope in a minute, then how? Uh, why not a, a person? You can remember. remember all these things that you have told in a minute. <laughs> then his face was somewhat Shelved. pale. Uh, Changed. Pale. pale. <laughs> <laughs> then Mahaprabhu he told five uh, merits, de demerits, and five merits of this. <laughs> and thus he was defeated. He could not answer anything. <coughs> and his proud went on, and he went at once. The boys wanted to climb, creep, climb, 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 climb. but Mahaprabhu warned, "You should not do like this. Always try to respect all. He is a respectable person." And told him that, "I want that today you should take rest, and I will see you tomorrow." In the night, he began to pray her. His Worshipable deity, Saraswati Devi. That why you made so? Now I am not in a situation to show my face anywhere. I have defeated, but I am sorry that, worried that. I have been defeated only for, from a very little small boy. Little small boy and not so learned, only some not knowing grammar. In the dream, her worshipable deity came and told, you are so lucky. He is not a little boy. He is Supreme Personality of Godhead, Bhandal Krishna. And that is by my mercy you have seen that. So in the morning you should go and fall flat on his lotus feet and pray for forgiveness. In the very morning, at about four in the morning, went to the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and fell flat on the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Waving in mercy, Mahaprabhu told what? The fruit of <coughs> learning, learning is not to fight with anyone. <coughs> the fruit of all learnings, Ved Upanishad and all things, is to serve Krishna. So you should go at once to any good devotee and hear the glories of Supreme Personality of Godhead and try to chant, remember and hear the past tense of Krishna if you want to be happy. So at once you should go. There will be no problem at all in life. So those who want to be happy in this world, this world is not 
a place of heaven. This is like a jail. Very severe jail. Severe. Yes. Hmm. Very suffering jail. Hmm. In this world, nature has made a jail this that who will forget Krishna and his service and love and affection they will give up. Hmm. This is a jail for them. So in jail, anyone never, he cannot be happy. So in this world, anyone cannot be happy. Never and never. A old days come, will come. So many suffering will come. So many problems we are coming. You are seeing in this world. You are suffering all. You are not suffering so much. But sufferings, who? The council who is sitting in Birmingham now. There's so much afraid. When one will attack with, the other. attack with all these weapons. So they are. They have so many things with them. But they want that anyone should not in this world have this. So all should fear fear from me. They want. So they are making program from so many long, long years. But they fail. They never can, um, can uh, succeed. succeed like this. Uh, like this. No solution, nothing for the, uh, all of this. So, only chanting of name. So you should go and also chant Hari name and be always happy. <coughs> A person who is not chanting and remembering, especially has no faith in God, he will never be happy, cannot be happy. So, we should be strong in this. One Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> uh, went to uh, went in East Bengal. <coughs> he was married at that time with Lakshmi Priya. Lakshmi Priya. He went there. And he was giving so much classes. <coughs> Bhagavad part and all this. A Brahmin Tapan Mishra came and told, I want to know what is the Sadhan and Sadhan. Eh? Sadhan and Sadhan. Sadhan and Sadhata. The means and the goal of life. The goal of life and how to achieve this. <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told one, one answer. <laughs> oh, there are so many kinds of uh, mean goals so many kinds of goals okay. for whom those who are uh, not devotees Gyanis. who were have, they have so many desires desires worldly desires so, many. Huh? so there are so many desires they cannot be happy for anyway so there are so many goals for them, sometimes money, sometimes fame, sometimes controlling others, sometimes having so many cars, beautiful cars, so much luxurious palaces and so many things, sometimes aeroplanes also, so many things, but by having these they are never satisfied. Never. And anyone cannot be satisfied. Because we are part and parcel of Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, that should be one life of God. One goal of life. Eh? Goal of one life. goal of life. Eh? One goal of life. And what that? Always chant, remember, the glories of Krishna, Supreme Personality of God. And you can achieve this by association of Vaishnavas, who are truly Vaishnavas, who don't want to cheat anyone. They don't want to make any problem for anyone, always helping them. No selfishness at all. They want that all should be happy forever. They want to change the mood of all jivas from, 
from worldly desires to serve Krishna. So we should go and serve them and by this, especially by chanting and this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 This is a very powerful <coughs> mantra. If nothing desire, worldly desire, no offenses, and you are chanting with a simple heart, then very soon we will realize these things. And love and affection for Krishna and for all will come and then you can be happy. So in this world, this love and that mood is very rare. But all time the devotees of Krishna God, they want to preach this thing to the whole world. <coughs> Once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called Haridas Thakur and Nityananda Prabhu and he told, <coughs> what he told, you remember? What? Suna Suna Nityananda Suna Haridas. You know perhaps. To preach and beg, <coughs> from door to door you should go. And beg <coughs> that you should give me, I want some donation. What donation you want? I want that you should once chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. There used to be laugh that what? This is a mad person. Not begging anything, money or anything, only begging that you should chant Krishna. So Mahaprabhu is telling them that. Just so chant always. What? Mm. Three things. Uh, to chant Krishna. Bola Krishna, Bhaja Krishna, Kara Krishna, Shikha. Three things. You should go and tell them to chant Krishna. To remember Krishna. And to know who is God. What are the qualities of God and glories of God. By three things, all will be happy. So those who are so much fortunate, they will take it. So Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas went in Navadvik town and he began to tell like this, door to door, begging Harinam Bhikkha. This is called Nam Hatta. Many smiling something and they used to tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Those who are not telling, he used to sit there. I will not go without hearing your, from your mouth. Some are thinking that they are mates. So thus he went to Jagai and Madhai, very learned person and very rich person, but taking always wine. They were mad. And thus they were like giants for giants. Giant, giants. Uh, Giant. Giants. Giants were very Do wicked persons. Wretched. Like demon. They were demon. Anyone cannot pass by the way they, where they were sitting and taking wine. <coughs> All he used to fear. But Chetan, uh, Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas went there and told that, what you are you doing? Hmm? You should chant Hare Krishna Hare. At once hearing, they become very furious. furious. And one of them wanted to be, uh, he wanted to give a slap. To uh, slap and with that vessel, part, part of vessel. Slip out. Throw it. And Throw it. it was Cut him, attacked and thus injury came and blood, blood came. At once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is with all followers chanting Hare Krishna they at once came. Mahaprabhu was so furious that he called his chakra. 
Sudha oh Sudha chakra, Sudha oh chakra. And chakra came in his hand, hands. And he wanted to cut the head. But Nityananda Prabhu uh, fell, fell on his face and told that in this <laughs> incarnation, 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 you should no not do that. You should try to change, change the, the mode of this. So you should be merciful to that. At one, he has saved me, this Madhai, uh, Jagai. One of them has saved me. So you should be merciful to this. Oh, he has saved you? He at once touched by his lotus hands and at once he began to weep and to cry, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Krishna. At once he was changed. Then his second Madhai also began to weep that we are brothers, we have distributed your mercy to him, but not to me. Why? Because you have <coughs> you have bitten committed me in the Lord's feet of me. <coughs> then at once you shall go to Nityananda Prabhu and beg pardon. And if he is satisfied, I will give also print. At once he fell flat on the lotus feet of Nityananda. <laughs> and he was changed totally. They came, became pure devotees. They became sadhu. So, by this name, all can be changed. Also, there are so many instances he also <coughs> gave so many teachings uh, to Raghunath Das Goswami, what are they? The teachings to Raghunath Das Goswami. Ah, Raghunath Das Goswami. Now Prabhu told Raghunath Das Goswami to always be very simple. Don't dress in very luxurious dress. Don't eat palatable, <coughs> rich foodstuff. Always eat very simple. And don't hear any mundane uh, talks, any worldly topics about any worldly, but in, and in our mind always be in Vrindavan and serve Shishirara Krishna conjugal. What he has told to Rupa Goswami? In this world there are so many kinds of Jeevas and how any Sabhagyaman Jeev? Hare Krishna. So, here is Sri Goswami met with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Mahaprabhu best his mercy and he instructs him for the whole world. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructs him that it's mentioned in Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Brahmanda Bhamite Kono Bhagavanji Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. By the mercy of Guru and Krishna, some fortunate soul they can get the seed of bhakti, the get seed of devotion. What is this desire to serve Krishna? It is called Bhakti Lata Bij. Its external symptom is Sraddha. That Sadha means Sadha tu anno payo varjam Krishna mukhijitta vritti vishesa. That I shall must serve Krishna if someone cut my body into pieces, yet I should not reject Harinam. It is called Sadha. And it is, Srila Kaviraj Goswami mentioned here that Guru Krishna prasade paya bhakti lata bij. By the mercy of Guru and Krishna, some practitioner can get the seeds of devotion. So nothing is there in the soul 
what came from the mercy of Guru and Vaishnava, Guru and Krishna. So all living entity have some constitutional form, but it is now at present latent position. Just like there is a mango seed, neem seed, tamarind seed, so many seeds. But if we put in earth, in fertile earth, and you put pour water, light, air, then it will sprout, and gradually it will develop, and it will one day it will be very big tree. Similarly, all jiva some consider in a latent position. When we associate with Guru and Vaishnava, then it will be developed. Just like that water from constellation Sati, if it contact with oyster salt, it produces pearl. If it contact with hood of snake, then it generate jewel. If an elephant, it is called no, if in uh, banana tree, camphor, so many different places, different, different things. So, all jivas has some different, different constitutional form, not same form. When he take initiation from Bonafide Guru Dev and associate with Vaishnava and Guru, then his mood will be developed. Guru Krishna Prasadeva Bhai Bhakti Radhavi, that something in inside in the, that soul and when you contact with that Krishna Seva Vasana, that mercy of Guru and Krishna, then he can develop his mood. So someone can think of nothing inside in Jivas, only in the mercy of Krishna and Guru, it is not correct. Something is in mercy of Guru and Krishna and something in Jivas constitutional form. When they contact each other, then it produces, then it develops Krishna consciousness. If not so, the same gardener, same bank of Ganges, but so many different kinds, different types of seeds. And same gardener putting water, noticing the seeds. Why different, different tree cans comes from that seed and different, different fruits come from that. Same gardener, same fertile land, same water. Similarly, all givers have different, different moods. When they associate with Guru and Vaishnava, their moods will be developed. Likewise, in Jaiva Dharma, we have seen about Vijay Kumar and Brajanath. They are same Guru and they are always hearing Hari Katha, same Hari Katha. But their mood manifests in different, different ways. So, Guru Krishna Prasad by Bhakti Lata Bij. Tata Krishna Sare Seve Kare Guru Sevan Maya Jal Chuti Bhai Govinda Charan Tata Krishna Bhaya Kare Guru Sevan Only if we want to serve Krishna not Guru, see if you neglect Guru then it will not be fruitful If we think, oh Guru give us mantra no need to keep, keep any connection with Guru there or no need to respect Vaishnavas then Krishna will never be excuse you he never be pleased as for example, that even lotus is blooming on water. If you take that lotus from water, that it will be chung, it will dry. When it will contact with the water, surja mudija patam prapatta prakasate. When sunrise, then lotus will be bloom, but blossom. But if you take out the lotus from water, then this sun will not blossoming him, that lotus, it will dry him. So, Narayana Gavi Guru Prachitam Durguddhe Kamalam Jaladapya Tamsa Sati Ravirna Pasyati Similarly, if you neglect Gurudev, don't want to respect Guru and Vaishnavas, then Krishna will never have a peace on you. Your mood will dry. So, Tate Krishna Sarve Kare Guru, Tate Krishna Bhaja Kare Guru Sevan, we have to serve Gurudev at first, under Vaishnavas, we have to serve Gurudev, under Vaishnavas and Gurudev, we have to serve Krishna. Then Krishna will be happy and pleased on you. Then we can we can develop our Krishna consciousness. Then Maya Jal Chuti by Sri Krishna Charan. We for, we are suffering so much. Why? For, for forgetting Krishna. 
सिंचाई सनातन वस्तुमिज आस्किंग सिंचाई तो नुमा प्रभु हो एम आई हो आई आई फील दिस थ्री टर्मेंट्स आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज लीड टू माय अल्टीमेट गुड इटरनल जीव इज इटरनल सर्वेट ऑफ सुप्रीम गॉड एंड व्हाई फील दिस थ्री टर्मेंट्स कृष्णा बुले सही जीव वनादी वाइर मुक आते माया करे जाए संसार � we forgetting Krishna, we forget Krishna and came in this world and one tooth that we were always eat, drink and be merry. We don't want to serve Krishna, so we are feeling so many threefold miseries. Adhatmik, Adi Daivik, Adi Bhautik. Adhatmik means when is suffering due to our uncontrolled mind. So many sufferings come, so many sorrows come due to our mind, it is called Adhatmik. Adi Daivi, that means sufferings due to demigods. If science is progress in climax, their stage is so high in progress in science. Yet, about two years back, we have seen a very great earthquake, grievous earthquake in Osaka, Japan. No science can control this. If too many, if very big part, none can control, check this. So it is due to Demigods, it is called Adi Daivik. Adi Bhautik, suppose you are passing through road, one dog bite you, <coughs> any bull throw you, it is called Adi Bhautik. So if we, we are suffering all these triple miseries due to forgetting Krishna. So if we serve Gurudev and doing bhajan of Krishna, then Maya Jal Chuti by Sri Krishna Charan, we will be free from clutches of Maya and we will attain the service of Divine Couple in Golok Vrindavan. <laughs>